PTR patch notes. As I said, this will be live on Tuesday, February the 6th. <laughs> wow, ads. Yeah. So this will be live in about six days. Today is Wednesday, the 31st of January. This came live about two days ago. This is on the PTR, it's a test server, and it'll be available in five days from now. So the changes are gonna be new hero, UI, art, battleground, some hero balance changes, collection changes, bug fixes, and the Lunar Festival, which is Chinese New Year. Lunar Festival is coming out and you can play a number of games during this time until March 5th. Playing the games, you'll get a spray, a banner, a portrait, and a mount. New hero, my F, we just take a look at it in the try mode. And if you're watching this on YouTube, you haven't seen my F yet do check out my video section we have the my F try mode walkthrough already and soon we'll also have gameplay or maybe we'll upload it in reverse and gameplay will already be up by the time you see this voice chat is coming note while it's already available in the ptr <coughs> voice chat will not yet be enabled on the live servers until a later date now, in theory, and I've done the math, 6 February 2018 is a later date than today. Which is when it comes out, the PTR. But because I'm able to think between the lines and I'm not a mindless automaton, I think what this means is that it will not ship together with Maiev to live server on February 6th. Right? That's what I think. Either way, it's testable on PTR at the moment. And we're going to try it out. Voice chat for parties and teams has been introduced. Party voice chat will automatically be joined by players. Team voice chat is opt-in. But you can toggle to auto-join. There's a team voice reminder dialogue at the beginning of matches that's enabled by default, but it can be disabled. If Team Voito House Join is enabled, how to join is enabled, and you're already in party voice, confirmation dialog will appear to default to join. You can do your tinker with your voice settings. This is I just showed this in the try mode. Target info panel. You can see people's stats, damage, armor, healing, regen, and so on. Left click then. Left click it to make it go away. It's gonna be in the top left of your screen, and you can move it around by dragging it. The game will now do the quick maths for you. It'll say when you have enough gems to turn in. Diablo Apocalypse on the Archangel will now be more visually uh, visible. Visibly visible. Rotation is the same. Friend. 11 months. That's like four more than seven. It's also seven more than four. Thank you very much for the reset, man. Appreciate it. And everyone else that I didn't thank during the previous review. Triglav Protector has finished testing in alpha phase. It will now enter beta phase. The Protector will gain 10 armor and 25% increased damage if both the pilot and gunner seats are occupied. Base health has been increased from 9500 to 10450. Health scaling has been increased by 10%. Horror show. Da. Pilot Rocket Fist. Duration of structure debuff effect has been increased from 2 to 4 seconds. The Gatling Cannon will now, refire, will now fire immediately instead of after a short delay. And the Cannon Rams will travel 50% faster. Davai, Davai. Hero changes. Greymane nerfs finally! Yay! He's been the primary assassin for a long time, very long time, way before the Shimada brothers molded the meta. So finally, Greymane nerfs coming out. Mana cost reduced, explosion area increased. Perfect A. Mana refund for hitting a hero reduced from 50 to 35 mana. So that's where he loses it, but this is where he gained it. Guys, what's going on? 
Draft overflow has been removed. Okay, so the explosion radius is a little smaller. But he gains another level 4 talent. Well, you can pick anything else now. Wizard Duelist. Every 6 attacks against an enemy hero increases Grimmie's basic attack damage by 1%. Up to 30%. Half of these bonuses are lost on death. Gain triple benefit from attacking in working form. We made these changes in an effort to increase Greymate's build diversity. Gilnane Cocktail felt a little lackluster without its associated talents. So we made parts of them baseline. <laughs> While you can still enhance Gilnane Cocktail through talents, we want it to feel like a valuable part of your kit. Blah, blah, blah. We've also redesigned Wizard Duelist, so it's less feast or famine. It has the added benefit of being a warlock and becoming a Zerganer. No! Okay, well, let's just pretend that this didn't happen. Basic attacks now cleave in a radius of 3.25 in an arc in front of Malthea. Damage heavily reduced. Soul Rip. Soul Rip is what I felt when I saw the Grey Man buffs. Anyway, it didn't happen. Uh, soul Rip. Healing reduced from 44 to 36 per enemy hit. Aww. Width increased on Death's Rat. Reaper Mark, another quarter percent lost. No more armor on Tormented Souls. What was it, like 10? 10, 20, 10. Last Rite's cooldown minus 10. Ah, good. One and a half second grace period. That's very good and very overdue. A little bit more range. Okay, this is very important because before it had such a selfish interaction. Someone's about to die. You need to cast it so that you last hit it or they die before your damage even matters so you can get the quest stack to CDR it. But instead, uh, you can now cast it get a big chunk of health gone and someone else can finish them off. For example, Maiev. And uh, they still get the quest stack. That's good. Really good changes. You no longer need to use your E on minion waves because you now cleave with your basics. So you can wave clear easier in that sense. And it doesn't look like Soul Rip's damage is affected, just the healing. Only this damage is affected. But overall, he will clear easier and cheaper because death shroud take costs like 75 mana so it should be more mana friendly on him to solo lane die alone once again only applies bonus if one hero is marked even if multiple wait oh yeah of course they had to do this otherwise your auto attack always accidentally hits minions so it makes die alone exceedingly easier to proc and it still does the same damage as before remember it might actually make him stronger Q does the same damage as before didn't change in mana cost was a big part of his damage die alone is now easier to proc you're healing from more different things because of this more consistently it is less healing so the ideal scenario has been nerfed a bit but the likely scenario has been upped a bit this one does deal less damage but this is not related to the Q damage so this is really good. Good. Ah, But again, the auto attack makes him hit more things. So it's probably in line. This is probably on average the same as before. He now gets a percentage based damage swipe at level 7. No. No. This is the W that applies it to everyone, right? Touch of death can be used more often. A little bit less healing. A little bit less armor. He now does, instead of 4% on a single target, he does 6% on a single target. And with the level 7, he can do 6% on everyone. With a W porting. Pretty strong. Malthiel, while powerful, has relied heavily on Tormented Souls. By making his basic attacks cleave, increasing Death Stride's usability, 
We're providing more ways on him to mark multiple enemies. This increases his survivability and damage without relying on his level 10. It gives him more options to use Race Strike. And Last Rites is more enticing. It's more reliable to apply Reaper's Mark. It makes him much more powerful, so we had to turn off a little bit its damage and associated damage. I think it's reasonable. I think it's worth a try. I think it's worth a try. Uh, pretty pretty optimistic about these changes on Malthael. Uh, okay, he gets a little bit more heal if his increased self-shield gets damaged. A little bit more heal per auto attack. If you take that. Though the one that they don't mention has been performing the best. And is obviously the best <laughs> when you read it. Full shield to everyone instead of 40% to everyone. And only 20 armor instead of 25. Okay. So basically what they've done is 5 armor less. If you take it. Not everyone did. But some most people did. 5 armor less. So he's a little bit less survivable himself. Which, in theory, would push you a little bit in the direction of one of these two, instead of shielding your allies. Not huge changes, but... Collection. New announcer, Mayev. Some skins. Skins, 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 and skins. I'm going to show you them right now. Bug fixes. None that mattered to me. None that matter to me. Now let's take a look at the skins. Hope you enjoyed the patch notes overview. We look at the skins and then we're ready to do some gameplay. Dread Warden. I am vengeance itself. Plague Warden, Horde Warden, Barn Warden, and Hell Warden. Where are the new skins? Katas. <laughs> For uh, Cassie, I believe. Welcome, warrior. I like this one. Pretty cool. Nice. Okay. Press space bar and search. Okay. Thank you. There we go. Ooh, Lunar Genji. A single Lunar Genji. A steady blade balances us all. I am vengeance itself. This looks like uh, a Nazgul. I am vengeance itself. Well. For the alliance. For? I am here to help. What? That doesn't even look like Savannah. Stand with me, or fall before me. Themed animations, themed abilities, altered voiceover. Does this even look like Savannah? <laughs> She's alive again. Be done with it. Hey, what do you want? Welcome, warrior. For the alliance. For Quelfa. Imperial you Lunar. Aid of a wizard. Her look at her. It's moving. Her cloak is moving. Nice effects. Oh, that's very pretty. Let it go. Jade Lunar Sylvanas. Stand with me, or Mo fall before me. Much has changed for Quel'Thalas over these centuries, but the Windrunner family has never stopped honoring their elders during the Lunar Festival. Greetings, friend. I 
on. Hey, what do you want? Nice. Almost would want to make me play Zildjian again. Master, I am here. Oh, 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 oh. oh, that's very colorful. I am the true Lord of Hell. <laughs> oh, yes. Let's go. Wow. That's amazing. There we go. That's my jam. Oh, that's grotesque. Oh, that's 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 nice. <laughs>